So I'm going to give you guys a funny story and a quick example of when strict HOAs aren't necessarily bad. My family's from Puerto Rico and we own some condos down there while well, here. I'm currently filming in Puerto Rico right now. Um, but anyways, for anyone that's familiar with life in Puerto Rico and or Puerto Ricans, we're kind of notorious for doing our own thing. If you've been here, you've seen it. Traffic laws are more like mild suggestions. The attitude towards rules in general is kind of like, that's fine for the other guy, but not applicable for me. My favorite is who's really going to stop me from doing this thing I want to do. In other videos, I talk about just pace, timeliness. There's all these cultural things that are just different than what I'm used to where I currently live in Connecticut. The point is, naturally, you can see how culturally that attitude probably wouldn't jive well for an HOA or condo living. But there are a ton of condos down here. It's not that they don't have condos because of this. It's that the condo structure and the HOA rules are even more important to keep all that stuff in line. So a couple of days ago, I was doing a construction project on one of our condos down here. I had a small pile of cardboard boxes and construction materials piled up outside the door. The only people who could possibly see this was my neighbor across the hall and the two neighbors upstairs if they came down the stairs. Long story short, a few hours later, I get a call from the management company that I've got trapped and two pairs of shoes outside my unit and how that's a violation of the HOA rules. There can't be any personal property outside the front door. Now, I know this, right? <laughs> and a lot of people might have taken offense to this and say, well, it was only out there for a couple hours. I'm in the middle of a project or something along those lines. However, me, who works with HOAs every day, I was actually happy to see the management here runs a tight ship and keeps people accountable for doing what they're supposed to do me included. Did I think I was justified in leaving my stuff out there? Sure, right? Like I didn't think it was a big deal, but they did and that's okay. That's good. It means they're doing their job. It showed me that an issue doesn't make it more than a few hours before someone is catching it and addressing it. You know, imagine if they allowed the precedent of people putting trash or personal belongings outside their condo door. A little bit of leeway combined with our Puerto Rican culture and pretty soon things would be out of control and the whole place would look like a mess. So the point is, it's less about the rules themselves and more about clear and consistent enforcement of those rules. So when I got that call, I was actually at Home Depot and uh, I said, no problem. I'll take care of it when I get back. And I did. And that's it. You know, I mean, everybody, their first reaction is to be offended when they get called out for something like that. The silver lining is that at least the management company is doing their job. And as long as they're doing it equally, it's not like you're being singled out. You know, they're enforcing it equally across the board and the place looks nice and there's no trash outside. It's that way because someone's keeping people accountable. Try to be appreciative of that.